Well, it is hard to forget this story. In 2005, Nancy Seaman stood trial in the murder of her husband, Robert Seaman. She admitted to striking him with a hatchet nearly 20 times, killing him. She never called police, cleaned the crime scene, and put his wrapped up body in her car and then went to work the next day. It took the jury only a few hours to find her guilty of premeditated murder, but she has filed an appeal and lost. But now there is a big push to free her from prison, and a group of people appeared on the Megyn Kelly show to back her. Local Forest Coco McAvoy joins us live this evening, and Coco, she is getting some really big support here. Yes, Karen, the judge who oversaw the trial for Nancy Seaman is now one of her biggest supporters, saying the jury didn't see enough evidence in the case. And as many people know, judges rarely make a move like that. It's a captivating case. He should be dead. Nancy Seaman was on trial in 2005 after brutally killing her husband, Robert Seaman. Nancy said she was a battered woman suffering abuse from Robert for decades. I couldn't fix him. There's a push to free Nancy from her life prison sentence. The now retired judge who oversaw Nancy's trial, John McDonald, was on the Megyn Kelly show this morning backing Nancy. Well, there's no question in my mind, based on the testimony I heard, that he was a batterer. We also heard from Nancy herself in a jailhouse interview reliving that day. When I went to reach for the handle of the generator, there was a hatchet was laying on top of it. I felt the handle of it. I grabbed it and I just swung it across my body with a lot of force. She was seen on surveillance video buying the murder weapon the day before. I bought that hatchet because I had not done my regular fall maintenance on the yard. McDonald and others are asking Governor Snyder to commute Nancy's sentence, setting her free. It's too early to know what will happen next in her case, but Nancy says she will forever live with regret. I'm terribly ashamed of how this turned out because I worked so very hard to leave the marriage peacefully. Yes, I feel guilty. And Seaman's biggest argument was that she suffered from battered woman syndrome and that this was not premeditated. We'll, of course, continue to follow this story. Back to you. It's always been a very intriguing case. Thank you, Coco.